what we say matters. In a world where communication has a tendency to be a little bit more direct and sometimes a little bit more informal, you have to look at the words that you're deciding to use. So I tell a lot of sales professionals and those in business development, if you're using the word meeting and appointment, you've started it off on the wrong foot because meetings and appointments typically have negative connotations. Meetings sound boring and unproductive. Appointments sound clinical and cold. So you want to be able to have a look at what you're doing. Now, I'd say for a lot of people, being able to, and I'm an I'm a encourager of kind of a good play on words. And so for me, I call it a strategy session with Sherman. So I like the uh, first words, uh, first letter sounding exactly the same. Maybe that's because of the old Avengers days, the Marvel comics, right, with Bruce Banner and Pepper Potts and, and whatnot. So... I enjoy that because I think it sounds fun to be able to have a strategy session with Sherman versus let's have a meeting with Sherman or let's have a meeting. Um, and so if you look at your calendar invites, if you look at a lot of it and it says meetings and appointments, you're already setting up the meeting for failure. You're already setting up on the wrong, uh, the wrong foot because it comes with this negative angst. So have a look at what words you're deciding to use, especially in your text messages to people, especially in your meetings, and especially on your automatic replies in regards to like setting up of meetings. A lot of people are using Calendly or HubSpot, that's what we use at our firm, uh, to be able to set up appointments. And so you wanna be able to make sure that you're choosing the right words that are sending the right message. Take a little bit of time to proofread that email before sending it out to be able to make sure that you're using good words that constitute what you're trying to convey in that message. What are your thoughts? Shrimp's out.